hello in this video i will show you how you can add google analytics with our google site website so let's see how we can do this thing at first we need to login sites.google.com where our site is located once we are there then we have to choose the site where we want to add the google analytics to add analytics at first we need to click this gear icon or settings icon and it will open this type of settings window from here we have to choose analytics and once we click analytics it has on field where we need to put a code that means a measurement id or some tracking id is required and we need to put it here and then we have to save it but we don't have that let's see how we can get this thing to create a google analytic account at first we need to access the google analytic website so i'm going to copy this part and i'm going to open google.com and then I'm going to paste it to search that thing and I'm going to type Google analytic login and from here we can choose Google analytics so here it will be like this for this case we need a email address of Google email address then we can only access this thing now just click this scroll button to close this thing now we need to add our site over here so at first we need to click settings which is the admin in the left corner we will find there is a gear icon and admin we just need to click here and it will be in like this way and then here, here there is one uh, plus icon and create if we click this arrow it it has two options on this account and property i'm going to create one account for our uh, site so i'm going to choose account and then it will be like this way account details here it is asking the account name so if we visit our website if we click this link basically it will show us the entire link so i'm going to copy this part which is our website name and then i'm going to paste it here okay account name account can be confirmed more than one measurement id okay that is fine and then there are a couple of checkboxes that are, they are there account data sharing settings uh, you can choose whatever you want but i am fine with everything so i just keep those things but if you don't need you can actually uncheck those things and then there is a next button we just need to press this next button to go to the next step now we need to create a property it is asking property name i am going to type the same address which is our website address and then we have to choose the time zone united states and this is i am in new york time zone so i am going to choose the new york time zone you will choose your time zone and currency us dollar then there is two button once is on is back and there is next i'm going to press the next button to go forward now we need to describe our business so we have to choose uh, like industry hot type of industry mine is like computer electronics so i'm going to choose this one and then we have to choose the business size uh, mine is small so i'm going to choose this one but if your com uh, company is very big then you can choose any of this option then finally you just need to click and uh, click the next button once you click the next button then it will bring this type of option so like leads i want to do this thing it says if you are selling something then you can choose this thing i'm not going to sell right now but i will sell later but that's why i'm going to check this thing traffic yes definitely user management and retention yes this is also others yes also and once we check everything so others means it will check everything or you can choose one of this thing multiple types of uh, reports this option cannot be combined with other uh, options okay so if you want to check the other th uh, these things you can check all this or others you will choose other so once we choose all of them then i'm going to press that create button and here we need to agree the terms and of services of google analytics there is a checkbox we just need to click here to accept it and then finally we just need to uh, press this button i accept to accept this terms of service agreement so i'm going to click accept and it will be accepted now we have to choose a platform ours is website right so we have to choose website i'm going to click here and then it is asking the address of our website so you can jump to our website and here from here there is a button copy link i'm going to click copy link and then it will be copied and i, I need to paste it over here but here we need to modify something here already we see that https colon double slash is there so i'm going to remove this part and also i also need to remove some other thing uh, like home we need to remove this part and slash also and this will be the like this thing and stream stream name we can uh, change uh, choose the domain name which can be like this so this is the domain address so i'm going to choose this thing and i'm going to paste it over here and it will be like this and here it is 
measuring like page view then scrolls optimize uh, optimize click many things right and everything is there then we have to press this uh, create and continue button i'm going to press this create and continue button and very shortly it will be open like this way then it is showing that it is added over there and it is showing set up a google tag we can uh, set up this thing we can do this later or we can close it uh, we can close it now and if you want to if you already did this thing you can test it like this way okay so like if we click here basically right now it will not do anything okay so this is the actual uh, id for this case right so just i'm going to copy this thing and i'm going to copy it here for example in the address bar i, I just typed it okay so this is the uh, tag here so i'm going to close this thing and finally it will give us web stream details here we'll find all the details what we configured okay and this part is important and now check carefully here and this are the same basically okay if you forget to copy this thing you can even copy now okay so this part is required this is a measurement id and there is a copy button if you click here it will be copied now come to the google site then you can close this thing and click the settings it will bring this type of window from here we need to choose analytics and inside this analytics here we need to paste it right click paste and it will be here and definitely uh, you must have to check this thing otherwise it will not uh, like monitor okay then we can close it and it will be saved you will see and let's verify one more time click the settings and then choose analytics and here we, is, we are seeing the analytics uh, code is there which is the measurement id and we can close it now we can actually monitor this thing once we did this thing basically we can test here it is showing uh, view tag instruction not set if you click here uh, you will see the same tag here okay anyway we don't need this thing we can close this thing and here we can also close this thing and our site is ready now it is showing like uh, the few steps site this is here uh, and it is showing no data received in past 48 hours and this is the id i mean the account id and if you click here it will bring like this type of window from here if we need in future you can also copy this thing now let's see whether it is working properly or not we can actually check uh, like this drop down the published site okay so if you refresh like this it's coming right so i'm going to show this thing next and then i'm going to open this thing from analytics i'm going to close it now here uh, it will take some time basically data collection is pending because it's showing and then continue to home we can click here and after some time later we can actually check whether this data is coming there or not so it will take some time but still you can actually uh, view uh, reports uh, view real time if you click here you can also see the real time so just uh, close that window and here it is showing that right now the active user is on 0 0.5 it is the measurement right so these are the details user attributes something like the overview something like that okay real time overview it is visible like this way okay so that's it guys in this way we can easily actually configure the google analytics uh, with our google site website thank you guys for watching the video if you have any question or if you face any problem just put in the comment section thanks for watching the video